All right, let's check out this new lightning blackout. First shot here. Well, it tells me I'm too far right. It shaped a lot down lane. Okay, off that first shot, I'm gonna move three left. Let's try to see if I can stay a little closer to the friction. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me. It's just a little too quick. Okay, two more left off of that last one, so full five from the first shot. Pretty good. That one was really good. That's not a good sign. The numbers of this ball are very similar, kind of in between a IQ and a hustle. A little, uh, little more diff than a... than a hustle. That was really good. Actually, I'm wrong. The hustle diff is actually 030, so this one's a point lower. Uh, I believe they have similar RGs though. They also tried a little something new. A um, little longer pin buffer. Trying a couple different layouts. See if I can get my ball to shape in the correct ways. On those sport patterns. That looked really good going through the fence, didn't it? Wow. I'm gonna move five off that last one. I think this one's really gonna like a lot of angle. Just because of how quick it is down lane. Yeah, I think this ball's gonna be really good as I gotta get further left, get my hand around it, and keep sending it to friction. They like to see friction and go. Five more left off the last one. I may not miss because I continue to move left. This ball is just shredding racks. Okay, five more left. supposed to be really good when they're burn up you got to move left shape the whole lane and don't have to worry about it not getting down the lane because it's getting down the lane and then it's seeing it going left five more left all right i'm gonna keep moving left all right five more There's that kind of half pin. That's extreme angle on this house shot. That's a lot of angle. All right, I'm gonna try to throw the same shot again, see if we get the 10 out. Didn't quite give it away as much, so it could get through there just a little better. This ball's gonna be really good when I gotta go left. I'm gonna move. I mean, I'm, I'm really far left here. Let's see what she does. Yeah, I mean, uh, pretty much covered everything there. And uh, the core, just not quite enough dip to keep coming around it that far left, but we're asking a lot of anything from over there. I'm gonna move back into reality. Let's see what she does. I think it speaks for itself. All right, let's check out the Ruby. Starting the same spot I did with the blackout. Quite a bit earlier and smoother than the lightning blackout. Five left. I don't know what hit that 10 pin, but five more left. Yeah, it just it's earlier and smoother 
Uh, this is a little more broken down house shot. It's not exactly fresh. I like to use that ruby like game two of league. I think the blackout's gonna be more of a game three ball. Five more. It's just much smoother and uh, more continuous where the, the black guys more of that hockey stick shape. Very similar strength wise, but they do it in different ways. Another five left. So you can still shape it with that one, but that one, you can be a little softer with it. You don't have to quite mash up on it because the RG is lower, so it's gonna pick up for you. Where the lightning blackout, I feel like I have to make it pick up um, when I get further left. This one just automatically does it. Five more left. And there's the main difference. I got really up the back of that one. Got it going forward really quick. And it stood up much faster than the blackout. Just due to that RG, um, because the cover on the Ruby is actually weaker than what's on the lightning blackout. But that, that RG helps get it through the front a little more compared to the Ruby. Okay, same spot, but I'm not gonna roll it as much. Really got around it. It's still, still too early. I'm kind of catching the, the lefty lay down over there on the house shot where the blackout just ignores that and the ruby wants to see it pick up, thus creating an earlier and slower change of direction down lane. All right, last shot here with the ruby. All right, first shot here with Akutor. Way stronger. Five left for the Icon Tour. Make sure to roll that one. And just did the classic Icon Tour thing. Five more left. Icon Tour, baby. Five more left. That's pretty good. Five more left. Back to back trip knives. That's why the ball's a goat. Five more. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What was I worried about? It's an IQ tour, it just always gets that right. All right, I'm gonna get as far left as I can here with this one, and that's it. Yeah, I think the, the blackout is a nice, nice step down from both an IQ Tour and an IQ Ruby. All right, cue the outro. They have it, the trifecta. Lightning Blackout versus Storm IQ Tour and the IQ Tour Ruby. Uh, as you can see, the IQ Tour, still the strongest, most controllable, and then a uh, little weaker, just as controllable, but shapes a little bit more down lane and the ruby, and then the blackout would be the third. The way I would use these, start with an IQ Tour, and then uh, when that kind of starts you know, being a little lazy, I go to the ruby, and then as I continue to chase it left, if it's a little lazy on me, I'll, I'll go to this lightning blackout, continue to shape it for the rest of the block, as it's much, much cleaner than both the IQs, and it's just way more down lane. Uh, I think that's that RG and the cover stock. So, uh, do you need all three in the same bag? That's up to you. Um, for me personally, I, I like when I saw out all three of them, and I can do quite a few things with each of them, so uh, a lot of versatility in those three balls. So if you like the jerseys that I'm wearing in all my videos, please check out EFX over at apparelEFX.com. You can use my code SRGBBFS for 10% off. That code can be found at the beginning or the end of the video. And when you go to drill your next Storm Rotor Grip 900 Global Bowling Ball, make sure you throw turbo products in there as well as switch grip. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'd really, really appreciate it. And please give this video a like if you like it. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, I'll see you.